folks, today we are here in Greenback, Tennessee, and we're here at the Greenback Castle. It's a one man's fortress of faith. Dawn, are you ready? Ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Today we're here in Greenback, Tennessee, and we're here at the Greenback Castle. It's about an hour and some change from Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, over near Maryville, and we are here. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Floyd Banks Jr. spent three decades building this fortress of faith. First, it started out as a way for him to I don't know, attract the ladies. But soon after that, it became a, a fortress of faith. And it's a castle here in Tennessee. Look at that. So it's made out of cinder block. It's made out of really anything, but mostly it's cinder block. So this place is very interesting. It gets your mind thinking about what's going on. Uh, a lot of intricate work. Of course it took three decades to get here and there is a gator <laughs> and area 151 at your own risk of course there's a yeah, there's a lot of faith in here welcome to fort armageddon and there's a little a little rocket over here Those chickens are are Maybe very he's in stress. very uh, eerie, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, there's lots of different slogans around here. No God, no hope. No God, no hope. It's kind of hard to take it all in. Yeah, I love all the tile work. Jesus is king out of golf balls. <laughs> and look at all the different angels. It's kind of like an angel garden. You got some doves. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. And the sun's starting to come out, starting to get, starting to get warm. Look at me, like a butterfly on beaded bracelets. See it? Yeah. So, what are you thinking so far? It's hard to take it all in because there's just, it's it is. busy. It is. So, I'm assuming there's a lot of scrap, you know, yeah. masonry work and, and it's all come together. And I imagine there's a meaning, meaning to everything here. You know, like there's two railroad ties up there. And if you look up there, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's even little crosses coming out of the, out of the wall there. But it looks like a, like a castle. You can come here. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, and they tell you to feel free to walk around. Just you can't do it at night. So it closes at dusk. Satan has almost owned this place twice. Satan cannot survive unless he can own or destroy this place. I need a lot of God's people and others because Satan is going to send his best troops. And then down here... Jesus Christ. Jesus is king. And here's a little little doorway you can go inside. This place 
is big. When we first pulled in, go, okay, yeah, it's decent size, but when you step back, you can see that, you know, there's three decades of work, and it's it's amazing. It's even got a, like a little, uh, how do you call that, like a bridge or going to this this tower here, and uh, and it's ever ever expanding. And the locals call him Junior. That's his his nickname. And we're gonna head inside. We're gonna see what this is all about. Oh wow! So that there is a, is an edger. I think that's an old washing machine there. That's some old Dr Pepper bottles and RC cola back there. Oh, wow. So when you get on this side of the wall, it's even more, it's huge. All the different seashells. Oh my goodness. This is, a, this is like a little chapel, a little like, yeah, it's a little chapel. It's definitely unique. It's a throne. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's, Can it's, it yes, it's a throne. Right? Yeah. Of course, it's, it's a little wet. I wouldn't want to sit on the, on the throne right now at the moment. But, yeah, take a look at, like, little um, marbles and stuff. This cross here is very nice as well that's that's really cool and taking in all of the all the marble work and wow one man's faith right mm -hmm. it's a castle of faith <laughs> the castle of Look faith here says. that that was interesting So there's a little place where you can sit here and play chess. Some chairs. So three decades. Now I think if I'm not mistaken, I read that this here is like a pet cemetery for all of Junior's pets in this area. So, so yeah, this is he's had a lot of them. Look at that um. Yeah, I think that's. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we have a, a storm moving in pretty quick. So we've been kind of rushing through this a little bit. We know it's on its way. And uh, there's some angel wings right there. So here's another room here. Some people have defaced it. You know, there's a there's an eerie sense of it, but it also is inspiring too at the same time. So here's like an Egyptian. 
themed like area. The carvings are really, really good. I like them. It's got the color and everything else. Oh my goodness. So there's a, we're now in inside and you can actually go up in the turret here, but it doesn't look all that safe. There's all kinds of crosses and stuff. Yeah, it's now not safe up here anymore. This place is is wild. You know, it's a lot bigger when you get in here. Look at any little faces over here. A little cubby hole. Yeah, Bert and Ernie. Ernie <laughs> yeah, old Bert. Well, that's Ernie, right? Yeah. yeah. Miss Piggy. So we just got to meet Junior, and he is he is awesome, isn't he? Told us a little bit about it. Um, told us a little bit about what he's doing here, and he says God is number one, and and uh, it's a uh, it's amazing. He's actually doing some work back here. He's he says he was working on some stuff. You can see his his mud and trowel there, and uh, wow. It looks like Satan or something. It looks pretty evil looking. But, um, yeah. He says over 5,000 people a year come all the way out here to Greenback to, just to see his castle. And, uh, very, very cool. These are some of the newspaper articles about the castle here and Junior was telling us about about all this here and, and castles in the sky. It's starting to rain. But well, we got to meet Junior, and he is a character. Yeah. You can tell he's a man of faith, you know, and he spent the last three decades building a fortress of faith. This looks like hail. <laughs> yeah, we did hear the thunder clapping yeah, earlier. Weather. Yeah, weather's been kind of weird today because, like, it's sun, and then all of a sudden this happens, and it'll be sun uh, a little bit later. But um, he's also got some uh, Native American artifacts and... And other things. What do you think? It's a castle. It's a castle here in Tennessee. Yeah, there's like eyes. And then here's a here's a serpent over here.
Every time you turn around, you see something new. And there's Bart Simpson. And Mickey Mouse. I think that's the the guy, the Mountain Dew guy. You know, tickle your innards, right? Tweety Bird. He needs golf balls, or seashells, or marvels. Thanks. We're going to have to be on the search for, like, golf balls and, and seashells and stuff and bring them over when we come through. Yeah. Uh, he's always looking for building material, you know. So this is a bottle wall. All kinds of little hidden rooms and um, you spend like days out here just taking it all in. It's hard to take it in. It is. Junior was telling us that this pine tree is held up by the almighty God. Hmm. Yeah, forks and spoons. Greenback castle we got to meet junior today it's always great to meet interesting tennesseans and i would say junior is definitely one of them um and it's it's a great place to get photos you know just to get those quirky photos yeah it's and everything in there means something there's a meaning to it there's you know what i mean and I love the colors. I love the, you know, like just the whimsical architecture. Um, and when you get inside it, when you start snooping around, it's it's big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. And um, and there's a lot of little rooms and there's like hidden rooms. Like you go into this room and then go in this room and then go around this corner. And, you know, um, my favorite part, I think, was the the throne. That was yeah. that was really cool. Of course, it was wet. I would love to get my photo. You know what I mean? Uh, but it was good. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's about an hour and fifteen minutes outside of um, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. If you're coming up, like you know, up I seventy five, um, or you know, you're coming, you know, from like Georgia or 
Florida area, Alabama, it's worth a stop. Check them out. Uh, Junior says everybody's always welcome, uh, just not at night. And um, <laughs> and if you're, you're, you know, if you're lucky enough, you'll catch them out here. Very interesting guy, very friendly. So don't, you know, don't feel. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. I could tell though, Dawn, you were kind of, um, what would you say? It? Overwhelmed. <laughs> Overwhelmed. <laughs> I was a little ner nervous. Yeah, Dawn kept like, like she thought maybe something would jump out at her. Well, I mean, you don't know what to expect when you see it on this angle, but when you go around the other way, it's like, holy smokes. It looks like a castle though, don't it? Yeah. It does, it does. It's got its own flair. It's always great meeting, um, We got know. to meet the person that built it. Yep. Very nice guy, actually. Yeah. I'm going to try to turn around in here. Just be careful you don't run over plants or... <laughs> it's a rainy day in... The Smokies. You know, the interesting thing about that castle, you know, that if it had a roof on it, and all that it'd be pretty interesting wouldn't it yeah. you know what i mean it's the concept is like really interesting